Hey, if you're anything like me, you have wondered, how does a real estate agent get paid? Who pays their commission? Today, we're gonna talk all about it. Hey, I am Mark Hubert with My Front Range Living, powered by Remax Integrity here in Colorado Springs. I am a real estate agent full-time in Colorado Springs, and today we are going to talk about who pays the real estate agent's fees and or commissions. Um, for me, one of my favorite topics. Uh, it's actually really interesting. When you, as a buyer, go to look at homes, that agent is going to have you sign what's called an exclusive right to buy. That is a form that authorizes that agent to show you properties and to do certain things in, within a certain time frame for a certain amount of money. So the reality of it is um, the agent's fees are in that exclusive right to buy contract. So take a look at that when you're signing that. Now, fortunately for the buyer, the sellers uh, typically list um, the commissions on their side, meaning uh, the seller will pay both the seller's agent and the buyer's agent out of their proceeds. So what ends up happening is uh, the seller and the seller's agent will negotiate uh, what their fees are. And then a lot of times what happens here in Colorado Springs is we will input 3% for the buyer's agent, meaning uh, whatever the home sells for, the buyer's agent is going to get 3% from the seller for helping find a buyer for their home. Now, like I said, what's unique about that is there's a lot of conversation right now. Well, should the seller have to pay that? Should the seller be paying both agents in the transaction because uh, the seller's agent is the only one representing that seller. So shouldn't the buyer have to pay the buyer's agent? I think it's, honestly, I think it's an incredible valid point. Um, it's definitely something worth talking about uh, because it's in that exclusive right to buy that the buyer will ensure uh, that their agent gets paid for representing them. Now, how that would work, a myriad options, a lot of ways, and we can go down that rabbit hole, but obviously it's going to impact uh, how a contract is written up for a seller's home. Uh, I, I have to pay my agent, so we're going to wrap their fees into what our offer looks like, whether that means we offer less because we have to make sure our agent gets paid uh, or we offer a little bit more and finance that. How it, it can work a lot of different ways. That said, how our system is set up right now uh, is such that the sellers pay for um, those agents' fees and commissions. So if you're a buyer, go out and look. You're essentially getting services at no charge to you. Uh, and so if you're a seller, uh, think about how you're negotiating uh, your contract with your agents. And agents, if you're watching this right now, you're probably really upset with me. And that's okay. Uh, our job is at the end of the day to make sure that uh, the consumer is taken care of so, and that we're representing um, our sides, whether it be buyers or sellers appropriately. So sellers, if you're out there, make sure that you're negotiating that and buyers be on the lookout when you sign that exclusive right to buy that if uh, the seller only offers 2% and you said you would pay your buyer's agent 3%, you need to be ready to make up uh, that difference if your agent decides to uh, enforce that accordingly. Hey, uh, as always, we would love your feedback. So go ahead and leave a comment down there what you thought. If you would like, you can hit subscribe right over here. We do videos every single Thursday and try to provide value for you, the general public. Once again, I am Mark Hubert with My Front Range Living, powered by Remax Integrity here in Colorado Springs. Have a great day. We look forward to seeing you soon.